Welcome back to another episode of Deadly Premonition Director's Cut. This is episode three, and we last left off in the woods. I got a gun. You do. In the woods, with a gun, and a map, and a phone. <laughs> okay. I like how it went all dark and crazy to, like, I'm assuming we're going find. that way. I don't know. It's a trap. I like that way, though. It's misleading. I don't want to run 400 yards. <laughs> and this is why you shouldn't lose your car. Don't we swerve not to hit somebody else? Got a metal. Green veil. Greenest of veils. And all the walking. What's that sign say? No, oh, you're right past it. Green veil. Oh. Well, that's redundant. Hello, Greenvale. That's so stupid. Why would you have a sign that says the same place, like, right across from the other one? It's like having two Starbucks across the fucking street from one another. What? It's they true. do that, you know. I know they do that. It's wrong, though. What the heck is that? There's a first aid kit. Bandages. I don't know why, for some reason, it looked weird. Yay, meet new friends. Now you were very late. Emily. I like Emily. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Okay, York. Me. Yay. Everyone calls me Agent York. York. Good, that's good. Are you the Close sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. That's a very if you don't mind me river. asking, did you, did you no. walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. Look at that. That's like sadly blue. It's like we didn't want to take the time to fix it blue. Because <laughs> that's the color of blue. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention Gee. anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. That's Dash. That's Dash. Draven. <laughs> FBI Special Agent George Francis York Dash. Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Long. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest Tell's in killers is. of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem? Yes, I do. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. You seem suspicious. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample. No one has. But I need you to understand that. No, did. She said Agent York. <clears throat> Does that really count? Of course. <sighs> By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Do you Where's need they, anything Thomas? else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. 
you don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife here. You are suspicious. You ain't call me York. Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. Oh. If it's such a close, small town, then, uh, I don't know, wouldn't you be worried about it? Just a small little homicide? Hey, we cleared it. Hooray! Good bus ride. Oh, more than that. Oh, yeah. We're rich. That's York style. <laughs> oh yeah, achievements. I wonder if they're like actually useful achievements. I like that music too. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so scary. Previously, okay. during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd be waiting right in the rain for so long. Welcome. I only get kind of recap, so... George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. I do feel it. Forever. The coffee. Okay, so we got It's broken. Dinner! I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? Anyone with the TV on? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories. It's a weird looking old girl. To it, sure. I used to watch movies on this Why thing with your grandma all the time. <laughs> grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone That's loves kind of movies, stupid. right? I love movies too. I've so never true. been to a movie theater though. What are you locked up? Well, I guess she's kind of young. You can go see like little, My Little Pony. Oh yeah, who wants to see that movie? Oh. What the heck is that? Angel Eyes. What the heck are these cards? Doing buck cards? You're selling them on eBay? Sure oh yum. I guess that one will constantly respawn. Go to the door. The door wasn't locked. No. That's rare for a horror game, considering almost all of the doors are locked. Uh oh. I don't trust this. Oh. Could it be Zach? York! York! Punch him. No. I'm gonna scare a little kid. 
trying to prove a point here, aren't they? Oh, we should have tried to hold our breath that long, see if we could actually do it. Because I don't think I could have. I was holding my breath. Uh-huh. And talking at the same time. Yeah. I'm magical! That's a giant door. Wow. It's just a little kid. It's not a giant, giant door. Giant doorknob. Oh. Some doorknobs are big. Fade to white. With a can, can of pickles. pickles. <laughs> uh, what random items in games. See, that's a hotel room. Unlike England. <laughs> bed that big. I gotta go away. I'm missing sexy time in bed with York. Look at that cover. <laughs> That's high Zach, graphics right there for you. The symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll I don't brush my teeth and in the morning. twin angels. But that child yes. is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. <laughs> I like how the kid bothers him the most. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. That guy that we've seen that was bone breaking craziness. But Let's kid, head to the cafeteria, Zach. That kid told me I hope they have some real coffee. How dare he? I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? <laughs> Spin the wind. Other clothes. Other clothes. PJs? Uh, I like the suit. Go to the bathroom. I have a feeling that I forgot something. Why don't I go to the bathroom? Shave. Do I need it? I, I don't know, but I remember he can shave. Can't tell if picture or blinding the nudity. Blinding the nudity. <laughs> go shave! Wait, what's oh. that? What's that? What was that bag? Come on, bag. This toolkit. Nothing in it. Oh. Because we don't put anything in it. I guess there's no point. Our inventory is pretty big. Okay. I put Did you put the away? <laughs> we could need those lollipops. I have a donut. Fine, go to the bathroom. That's not the bathroom. Sure. <laughs> That's the kitchen. <laughs> That's a big ass bathroom for a hotel. See, you need a shave. Everyone needs a good clean shave. I imagine guys hate doing this. Yes. <laughs> you done yet, York? 
You were quite scruffy. Why did I get 12 bucks for- Yes! I knew my instincts were true. Taking a shower might help clear up our thoughts, Zach. Yeah. But we don't get that option, Zach. Freaking A, Zach. We should start- Really? I guess there is no purpose to this. Still bigger than the pants bathroom. That that right there felt like the size of Japan's bathroom. <laughs> that whole area. Do 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 do. Mm, are we done? I think so. See. I shaved. You needed a good old-fashioned shave. Twelve bucks. Uh, running in the halls, you cretin. Okay, run the halls, I don't care. We need to... something. Oh, vending machines. I want my coffee. Vending machine coffee. Oh, I used to miss that. I like... Do you ever have a, like... Good morning, Mr. Morgan. The breakfast is I ready for you. Hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's really creepy. <laughs> Sorry, she's a Thank nice you, looking Mrs. little lady, but that like, kind of thing is, is Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm Did starving. Do... Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Let me roll up my sleeves. Yes. This is gonna it's be delicious, a great Polly. breakfast. Big ass my table. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were yeah. any other guests or workers here. Oh, no. No one else. <laughs> My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh, my. You we're sure all out of that? pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. <laughs> but I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. To my That's nice. What? <laughs> Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan. You want a pair? You're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly. I want to shoot. I can hardly hear what? you from I all the way over tight. there. You're exceeding. This is fine. It won't do this to means? be all clumped together with such a large Maybe? table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last oh, case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. I wonder who it was. Do you want to ask her we about the town? Have somebody. Say, Polly, what can you tell me ask about this about town? Well, ask her about the town. Ask her about the town. Ask her about the town. Oh, fine. The town is called Green Bay. <laughs> it rains here quite often. Let's have this but conversation go on for a lot nice longer. Place, surrounded yes. with nature. It's a it was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long. I'm not listening. I'm smoking. Where's our coffee? This hotel was built coffee. back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. Hmm. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many 
fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous, too. The clock? Oh, yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it, too, I think. I look forward to hearing it, then. Anything else you'd like to know You're about? You're American. What? Yes, actually, Polly. That doesn't make any sense. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Coffee. Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The A&G Diner is a great place to eat. Milk Barn. <laughs> they might be open even if my kitchen is closed. Oh, if you want to go to a we bar, there, there are two. Sure the Galaxy of Terror places. and the Sweary 65. I don't care much for either of them. Serious. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course, the art gallery, and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I I'll be right back with it. Spits in it. <laughs> it's time. That's a lot of cream. To see the future. York. What could be in our coffee? What will it mean? What will the truth unfold? Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring oh morning. Oh my fucking god, F it's stirring itself. K Look at that coffee go. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. I did. It never fails. Now then, let's get going. What? All you need is a ah, unity. Don't smile. <laughs> Hey, there's a metal over there. <laughs> spin, yeah, spin, 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 spin. Here you metal! What the heck was that? Whatever. Okay, so we're over time now since we have a long cutscene. We'll just stop here and we will catch you next time with our fortune telling FK coffee. Can I get another cup? No. Bye, people. <laughs> bye bye.